So before I start this movie review, I just want to give a big shout out to IMDb, where I get all my information and fun facts from. All right, guys, just a disclaimer here before I start this movie review. Uh, this is not a children's movie review. This is a very, very adult movie review. So your kids should not be watching this. The popcorn you're eating has been tested in film at 11. At Argonne, we know that a country which depends on oil can't afford to run short. But conventional drilling is not always possible. Now, new ways must be found to produce crude oil. Here at our multi-billion dollar refinery in Fairbanks, we're extracting over 2.5 billion barrels of crude oil each day from teenagers' faces. Crude oil can be shipped via mammoth super tankers in order to better utilize our country's vast supplies of yet untapped natural resources. And here in Milan, Italy, an affiliate of Argonne has developed a way to reclaim oil from the discarded combs of local residents, enough to fill an 1,100-foot tanker and save 60,000 gallons of valuable energy. What's up, everyone? Movie Mania Nick here with another movie review, and it's a doozy, let me just tell you. <laughs> uh, the movie is the Kentucky Fried Movie that came out in 1977. It starred a bunch of actors and actresses, but it did have a lot of famous actors and actresses. Uh, just to name a few, Donald Sutherland, Henry Gibson, Bill Bixby, Rick Baker, Marcy Goldman, Tony Dow, and Felix Sela. And the director is John Landis, who we know him from that made movies of Coming to America, Spies Like Us, Three Amigos, Trading Places, Animal House, The Blues Brothers, and American Werewolf in London. And he did the, a bunch of Michael Jackson music videos, especially Thriller. So this movie is basically about a series of short, highly disrespectful, and I mean disrespectful, and often tasteless skits. First time I've ever seen this. And I liked it. I enjoyed it. But if you're going to see this film, you have to have a very good sense of humor that laughs. If you're a serious person, there's no way in hell you should see this film because you will be so offended by this because they're showing women's body parts. Um, it's racist. There's, it's, it's, like I said, it's very disrespectful. So if, if you're offended by any means, do not see this film. Because if they made this film today's world, I should say, it would not go through because of what people are today. Let me just say. F from in the 1970s, you can get away with that. And today, hell no. But with that being said... I recommend to see this film if you have a good sense of humor. Just the skits in this film, I was laughing my ass off. Uh, I'll tell you one skit, and it, here, it was the, the clip I showed in the beginning where it was an oil company, and the only way they can get oil is from teenagers' faces. Because <laughs> as we know, when you're a teenager, most of the time, you have oily skin. And also the combs because of greasy hair. Um, I'm Italian, I can say that <laughs> but overall i enjoyed it i laughed my ass out i recommend to see this film there's not too much to say about this film but it's like i said it's a doozy but you mean if you think about it it's more of a film that came out before they made airplane uh the naked gun th those type of movies but this movie's more more into it let's just say that and now it's time for fun facts. The original titles for the film included Free Popcorn and Clothes for Remodeling. Both were rejected for the confusion they would cause when printed on a theater marquee. The gorilla, Dino, is played by special effects makeup artist Rick Baker. He was wearing the prototype design he made to audition for King Kong that came out in 1976. Because of the low budget and poor funding, the movie was shot with a variety of different cameras at any locations that were available, using actors willing to work for nearly nothing paychecks. 
This was the movie that led to John Landis to be hired to direct National Lampoon's Animal House that came out in 1978. The budget was 700, excuse me, 650,000, which was low even for 1977. And finally, many interior shots were actually filmed outside to reduce lighting to crew costs. And that's it, guys. That is my movie review for the Kentucky Fried movie that came out in 1977. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, smash that like button, support, share, hit that notification bell, and notify my next video vlog will be up. Also, check me on Instagram under the same name, Movie Mania Nick. And remember, be safe, be excellent to each other, and party on, dudes.